Hey guys, welcome to Final Fantasy 15 Part 4. Uh, we're going to be doing quite a bit of side questing, as is uh, most of the game. But since we're going into the wetlands, everybody gets to be in casual clothing. You have to get half a million points on Gladio's DLC to get him shirtless. Just saying. It's not hard, but I did it. But yeah, everyone's at least got a jacket off. I think it's funny that Gladio's is just like a tank top when you take off his jacket with no shirt. It's like, no jacket, and you're like, oh, sweet. And then you take it off expecting a shirtless Gladio, and it's a tank top underneath, and it's like, wow, when did you grow that? It's like, no, you have to get half a million points in the DLC to, to get that. So anyway, we've got quite a few things to do. Uh... The one for the regalia was closest. It was in his it's back time. pocket. Gladio, come on. Gotcha. I would be impressed if he could tuck a tank top in his back pocket. Oh yeah, Ignis, you can finally see the the skull and crossbones on the back of his shirt. Um, because it was under his jacket. There, yep, you can kind of see it in the light. It's very faint. Kind of hard to see. Sorry, Iggy. Didn't mean to go that low. There it is. You can see Prompto's easily on the back of his vest, which he doesn't have on right now. But yeah. Realizing that now, I Not. think it's. We should make haste for Lestal. Yeah, don't keep my sister waiting. They're gonna bitch at me forever about uh, going to Lestal until I actually go there. But then when I go there, I'm gonna get bitched at even more to it. about something else. So y'all are just gonna deal with this, cause trust me. Hey, look, this has got to be the stuff. Bingo! <laughs> Wonder what it'll do. Guess we'll find out when Cindy sprays it on the car. Feels like we become Cindy's personal errand boys. Yeah, isn't it great? You seem pleased. Nope, honored. Lucky you. Cool. Um, you actually usually have to get something, but, you know. Uh, let's see... Okay, that's actually closer to where I need to go anyway. MTs. Time to cut and run. Time to cut and cut. Pronto. Okay. Woo! We got some real chemistry here. Ha. Hey mod, because I can't remember. Um, enlighten me. Yeah, I do love that Cindy's quest uh, autocomplete because it's like, well, you already have the regalia all the way updated. Um, but remind me, mod, is is the world building about the MTs just like is it random? So can I drop it? I don't remember if they actually drop it in story or not. Yeah, bye, fuckers. And on we go. Yep. Oh, can't check it. Huh? There's like random lore drops around this area. I do remember that. There's random pieces of paper scattered around. It's dropped in bits and pieces throughout. Okay, so... Um... The thing about... Um... Magitech Troopers. Ow. Hit the wrong thing. There we go. Um, the thing about Magitech Troopers. Because, yeah, I can't, I couldn't quite remember. So, the thing that makes 
MTs. So freaky. Ugh, Magitech. Doodle doo doo. Final Fantasy 15. Uh, they employ magic technology to the Empire, uh, employs magic technology to produce various apparatus among. Then the Magitech Infantry, Magitech Armor, Airships, and Magitech Rifles wielded by the Imperial Infantry. Niflheim has been, sorry, Niflheim, has been using Magitech for centuries, appropriating the technology from the ancient civilization of Solheim. Solheim isn't really mentioned that much in the game. Whenever they talk about really old ruins that they don't know where they came from, they're talking about Solheim. The technology was further developed by, uh, if you guys remember, the crazy old dude standing next to Ravis. It was developed by him. That's not too much of a spoiler. You learn his name later, and he's a pretty forgettable... He's an important guy, but, like, you kind of forget who he is, because he's not on screen much. Um, but it was developed by him, with help... Uh, yeah, with help, to power it with um, Miasma, manufactured in Imperial facilities. So... They're pretty much mass-produced, and uh, since it runs on, like, magic and technology, they're nicknamed MTs, capital M, capital T, for the fact that they're empty inside, and people find them extremely creepy. And they do have really weird, like, greenish faces. Oh, right, I have to go around. Imperials above us! Thanks. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Noct. You echoed my sentiment. I can't really. The water is just like that deep. Some parts they let you run straight through, but it's hard to tell where it's shallow and where it isn't. Yeah. Pronto! Double time it! Gotcha! Yeah. Let's be done with this <laughs> crowd! Are we done? Will you guys stop? Seems Prompto's been intoxicated. <sighs> Honey, really? Just great. I can't lock onto it. All right. So yeah, Magitech troopers are mass produced and in really like messed up ways. So people are incredibly wary of them and freaked out by them. I hated catching these frogs. Spoiler, you get to do it a bunch. You get to go, like, find different frogs. <laughs> Got it! And unlike some items which are noticeable from a distance, the red frogs are pretty much not until you're right on top of them. So you kind of got to listen for them and look for them. Nice em. work, Noct! You get to do this multiple times. Hey, try not to squash it. I would never! I love frogs. Seems we found what we were looking for. Okay, I'm going to take Noct, a... overhead! Great. Don't be late. See ya! Knocked! Yeah. Another one out! <laughs> I could go for a bite. Wanna set up camp? Aww. Can we stay at a hotel 
now instead. Not so willing to pay for one. Brilliant. There we go. Oh yeah. I was gonna say the MT should be around, so not to wait for them to drop on me. Look, man, I'm, guys, I'm just looking for frogs. All right. Right now, I'm the crown prince of frogs. Or king, I should say. I am the king of frogs. Take care you don't hurt it. Look at how cute they are. I love frogs. Uh, that should do it. <sighs> All the bounce has gone out of me. Let's present the whole to Sanya. Huh, a gift of frogs for a lady. Well, there's a first for everything. Um. Oh, see, I first off, happy birthday, Alo, happy birthday. Um, I found them without headphones <laughs> when I played through this the first time. It was annoying, but I did it. Yeah, I sent them a gif of a cat partying. A Magitek engine. It's close. Oh, well, I thought they were supposed to drop on me already. Damn it, guys. Make up your mind. Oh, this is the fishing guy. I couldn't remember who he was. His name was, uh, recognizable, but... If you're here for the hunting, do it someplace else. I don't want you boys scaring the fish. You're into fishing? Indeed I am. You too? Yeah, I fish whenever I can. Well then, a fellow fish nut. Come on, let me show you a good spot. Okay, so. This is fishing. I haven't seen you around these parts before. First time here? Something like that? Well, the name's Naveth. I've traveled the whole world just about, looking for new fishing. If you're as keen as you say, what do you say to a challenge? A challenge? A crag bear a Monday. Lurks in these waters. Catch him, and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I like your spirit, my boy. Nathan's just a nice dude. That's a lure. And a line. Hey. Craig Bear, Craig Bear Mundy, Lucian, catfish, and Let's more. Let's fish. Like a kid in a toy shop. Ah. <laughs> Buddy, I'm a level 80, 14 fisher. Fucking driving. Um, are you talking to Navith or Noctis? Because Noctis is the king of fishing. Let's go for the Craig Barramundi. Yeah. Yes, I know. Don't fuck me up. Don't fuck me up! Okay. This gets annoying. Yeah, yes, I know. I didn't know if you were talking to David or not, though. This gets annoying because, God, do your friends love to backseat fish. Uh... The only one I don't mind is Prompto, just because he's bored and he wants to- <laughs> he just wants to play games on his phone. Um, but Gladio and Ignis both are so guilty of backseat fishing and Noctis actually calls them out on it. I know! Stop! God damn it! I swear to god, 
the tutorial is gonna fuck up my fishing more than anything. They the backseat fish, trust me. It's a horned bluegill, god damn it. Cool. Bro, story, cool. Won't get a good cast like that. Put you back into it. Yeah, that's one of them. You're gonna hear it a lot from him and Ignis. Uh, fishing is actually really fun in this game. There's one quest that's- yeah, I know! Fuck you! There's one quest that's really annoying, but it actually does feel worth it when you do it. You better be a fucking catfish. Huh. Great job, Noct. Are you talking about the one that Gladio asks you to catch? If so, I'm certainly going to try. Most of the the dishes that I'm missing actually are ones that you have to fish up for uh, Ignis. Then yeah, I'm definitely going to try Monster of the Deep. That that's what I was just talking about. That is incredibly difficult. Yeah, uh, there's one I'm that there's one that's not fishing oriented that I can get that's actually pretty easy to get that I did not. So you all will get to hear Ignis's uh, hopefully get to hear his meme worthy uh, phrase. Yeah, I don't care Got about it. the tension at that. Prize catch at that that's point. That's the one Navith was talking about. Yeah, that's a crag barramundi, all right. Yep. Got it. All right. Monster of the Deep is a 15 side game. Really? Hey, Navith, you still out here with the demons? Huh? Yeah, Navith gives no shits. This man is like the bravest man in all of EOS because he doesn't care about demons showing up. Well, I'll be darned. Well, a promise is a promise. Here's your prize. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. With that lure, you'll be able to diversify, reel in more kinds of fish. I have five of every type, but thank you. And catching things you ain't caught before. <laughs> End of the day, that's what being an angler is all about. You're still wet behind the ears. But you got potential. There's a... There's a YouTube video that Goose in chat my friend goose showed me that uh fucking killed me it's Keep ray it mm -hmm. it's ray right chase you. voicing try out that lure right of course he is well if you guys insist in that case you're in charge of finding dinner tonight um it's ray chase talking over uh someone doing a luna makeup uh like someone dressing up as a uh, luna freya Locked. overhead and doing her makeup and uh, at one point, he just he just goes off on a tangent about fishing because <laughs> he's in character as Noctis trying to be Luna, <laughs> and he's just like, "I'm the king, the king of fishing." <laughs> it's just it's so funny. Shall we camp here? We could crash right here. You can remain awake long enough to eat. You get noticed by Noctis as a fellow fishing fanatic, you beat a boss, and then get to eat dinner with all the lads. That sounds excellent. <coughs> I 
I know we technically didn't catch this today, but we're having fish. Yeah, all right, Goose just dropped the link in chat. Uh, you guys pull that up and watch it later, because it is hysterical. For those of you watching on YouTube, uh, it is called... Uh, the video is called... Come on now. Noctis Vio's Luna, Luna's Makeup Tutorial by the YouTuber Kelly Eden. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good idea, putting the link in the description. That would be a smart thing to do. Hopefully I remember to do so. Later. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, uh... I guess that was the Noctis Warp. Yeah, that was an Octus Warp. Perfect timing. <laughs> yes, Iggy is wearing leopard print. Prompto's pants are leopard print, too, actually. Noctus, what are you doing? You're always posing in really weird pictures with Iggy. I, I always have to keep the weird ones. But yes, thank you, Mod. If if I remember to do so, I'll I'll pop the link in the description. Oh, it's raining today. Don't pose shame him. I'm good to go. Just about awake. Knocked, you're never awake. Uh let's see what else is around here. Galloping Gorillas, Bee Swallow in the Wetlands. Okay, we'll do a couple of hunts. Um, there is... Someone by the Chocobo Post, which... Okay, we'll, we'll drive to the Chocobo Post. squish our way through. I was like, yeah, we're gonna be side questing. Why not uh, just put the boys in some casual outfits? I wonder- I want to ride my chocobo all day. Can't get it out of my head! This is just sigh of resignation. I wonder why you're sneezing, Gladio. It's probably because you're running shirtless in the rain. Mod goes, bless you, Gladdy. Where's the damn sun? Yeah. Uh, best cosplay of Gladio I've ever seen is Leon Chiro. Italian cosplayer, great dude. Uh, shout out to Trisha for introducing me to him. He does a lot of great cosplays, but uh, his Gladio is my favorite, because it's pretty much like Gladio walked out of the game. Hi, Takedo. We're side questing, so I put the boys in casual clothes. So you picked me chasing frogs. Or you missed me picking up and chasing frogs. Well, there, there. Got it. I'll put a link to uh, one of Leon's uh, cosplays in the description as well. His Instagram. Wow, He's really awesome. With bugs. Wuss. <laughs> this is the guy who sneezed in a rainstorm. Oh, hang on. I need to plug in my computer. All right, we're good. Seems we found what we were looking for. Never knew I hit him. 
weakness! I've just the thing. I really should not have Ignis as, like, the most powerful move on him, but ah, screw it. Prompto special, coming oh, up! Oh, sorry, Prompto. We all good? Better than good. Good to go. I still let you cause a vortex somewhere. We can hear it. Oh, it's in the sky. Okay. Alright. That was it, right? Professor's protege. To go over there for final resting planes. Chocobo farm is over there. Dino's quest is down there. Beans are all the way over there. Okay, yeah, we'll head back. <laughs> what level do you teach again? You teach high school, right? You'll catch cold if you don't wear your jacket. Says mom. Meanwhile, dad's running around without with no shirt. Freshman, yeah. And one of my friends teaches uh, high schoolers too. Another one teaches first graders. Just the thing. Nothing to it. I, man, I had some pretty cool teachers, but I seriously wish I had you as a teacher. I mean, yeah, I agree with him too. Um, my feet are absolutely frigid right now. But then again, I was the dumbass who went and stood in my garage open to the elements in my bare feet to help clean out our vacuum, so, you know, that me. Watch yourself, knocked. I know. That is pretty awesome that they were able to come up with it uh, that quickly. Oh, a giganto decided to join the fun. Little dick. That's great. Yeah, I- Whoa! Excuse me! You nearly ran over the king who's supposed to Let's be dead. Let's find somewhere dry! Let's. I'm gonna go turn in Sonya's quest first, and then she's gonna send me out to hunt more frogs. Here are your red frogs. Look at all these lovelies. Thank you, boys. Now my research can spring along. Research? From longer nights to earthquakes, there's been a lot of strange phenomena of late. The world's out of whack, and there's no end to the mysteries that want for solving. Mysteries like frogs. Yep, you see, red frogs only appeared recently. We don't know what gave rise to the mutation. But this tiny critter could hold the key to the world's mysteries in its webbed feet. Huh. Fascinating stuff, right? When can we help again? Couldn't say right now. Well, when you can, you let me know. For now, here's a token of my thanks for finding the frogs. You've earned it. Star pendants are actually oh, pretty nice. It's you lot. Okay, she has no more quests for me right now. Sonia, last name Jaeger, if I'm not mistaken. Took you long enough to make the connection. Sonia, who? Sonia Jaeger, famed professor of biology. 
Her works have been published the world over. Whoa! She's a big deal? You sure don't get that impression. Uh, prompto, honey. A lot of scientists, and this is actually true, they're very eccentric. Geniuses are usually very eccentric. Welcome to the crow's nest. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm level 100. Must have been a real doozy. Not really. Kudos, boys. Cool. Should I can sell? What's on your minds? Prompto. <laughs> Just passed out there. Are you willing to do our dirty work? I mean, I would take all of these if you'd let me, but yeah, I'll take this. Knock them dead. Come back in one piece, boys. Spiricorn. I am like 10,000% positive that was named for uh, Final Fantasy X. Although I, uh, Mod and I were watching Kingsclave. I think I mentioned this last stream. Just to see when I should show it. At what point I should show it. And uh, I caught a Final Fantasy X reference. I was very proud of myself. Alright, let's go do Dave's because it's super out of the way. Everything in order. Yep. Well, I only caught it uh, last time, so. Um, Kingsglaive will be after a certain character is introduced. Well, he's already been introduced. After the boys meet Ravis. Because that's not going to be a spoiler. Obviously, the boys are going to meet Ravis. Um, after the boys meet Ravis. So this is the infamous disc. Hey, Noct, don't you want to get a shot of you in the meteor? Me and the blatant Final Fantasy VII reference? Yes. Why not? Yay! Let's go! Yeah, Prompto will ask you for, uh pictures to take along the way I never say no because they're just really cute I was gonna say Iggy you just better be heading to the photo op okay great day for a walk huh but yeah brotherhood can happen at any time and that's only about an hour Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. My last one was on a sunny day, so this should be interesting. Ready or not? Aww. Gang's all here, see? Us? It's a great picture, Prompto. There's actually a special attack of his that you can get up. I think you can level it up to 10. I could actually go check in the menu if I wanted to. Called Selfie Shot, where when you tell him to do it, he just skids along the ground and takes a bunch of pictures <laughs> during the fight. I have all of their abilities up to level 10, so this happened a lot in my last playthrough. Tiny 
pink feather. Prompto does get a lot of really good action shots. So, what's with the sweltering heat around here? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. The rise in temperature is likely attributable to the Astral Shard. We're close. So the Astral Shard is the meteor over there. Everything in order? Yep. Mm, all right. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I remember Katie was actually over the first time I had passed the meteor over there, and they were talking about it, and I was like, oh, and she goes, wow, that's a pretty blatant homage, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, not in like a, oh, wow, that's terrible pandery kind of way, but just like, whoa, okay, they absolutely went there. Nice weather. We got a little problem over here. Cool. Go take care of it. Alone? I wasn't part of the deal. See ya. It's cool. Let it be done. See ya. Knox just swinging like a madman at something already Indeed. dead. Indeed. It's returned home. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, then I think beans. Yeah, beans are right. I think as long as we pass through Listalem, it's fine if we don't stop. <clears throat> you alright, Prompto? I wasn't even near you. I accidentally bumped into Ignis, but... He's got a pebble in his shoe. Okay, we're gonna avoid Listalem. All right. Everything in order. Yep. Mm hmm. So I guess a quick thing about. Uh, the magic. Um, you, if you see like the little fire, ice, or lightning spots on the the mini map up there, Noctis can absorb magic. Um, it's just everything's full <laughs> for him, so uh, I can't actually absorb any. And then you pour it into flasks, essentially. And depending on what you combine, you can throw it out. So unlike a lot of the more recent Final Fantasies, which don't have Aja, the AJA. I know I talked about that in ten. Uh, the highest you could go there was Aga, um, A-G-A. Um, uh, Aja's are the most powerful. Um, you can actually get Aja spells in this, depending on how much you pour into it. Um, 
And you can do healing spells as well. I just, I don't know. I never really... Like, I tried it out a couple of times. I just, it was a bit more hassle than <clears throat> I found it was worth. Quadruple cast plus Aja equals boof. <laughs> Please, no. Yeah, K Katie explained this in one. <laughs> Where she was trying to fight a Malboro, which again, if you remember my 10 playthrough, those are uh, the bane of just exi existence, like, in general. They're terrible in every game they're in. Marlboros are awful. Um, she was trying to take down a Marlboro, and she gave Ignis, I think, an ice, uh, a Blizzaja. It was the Malba Doom, so it was even worse. Um, it was a Marlboro on crack, so it was even worse. And uh, I think Ignis had a, a Blizzaja, and he froze. They were in a water-based area, kind of like the wetlands there. And uh, he froze the water in the Malba Doom, which was great. But he also froze everyone in the party. I was on the phone with her when that happened. She was just saying how Ignis's, uh, Ignis's magic privileges were taken away. Killed an endgame boss with one grenade. Felt very dumb because it messed up the cutscene pacing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. After messing around with magic, and I mean, it, it kind of makes you when you're dealing with one enemy. Um, I just didn't. <laughs> I just didn't really care for it. Some people like to use the magic, and I think that's awesome. Again, it's like I've said a couple of times before, it just it shows the, the malleability of the playstyle. Just not a big... Uh, magic user. Demons can appear in these tunnels, by the by. They can and will. It's definitely more of a tactical maneuver, and I'm not a terribly tactical person. I mean, if the game needs me to be tactical, you know, like Fire Emblem, then I'll obviously do it. But if it's like, you can just smack things with a sword and throw potions on yourself, I'll do that instead. Iggy was in Magic Timeout. I don't think you ever took him out of it. Should be a nice change of pace. I don't know. That's why I like, um. Perhaps these are the bean bandits. Time to save the legumes, boys! <laughs> uh, I think that's why I like watching, uh, really, um, methodical Let's Players. Because it's just like, it's a whole different mindset that I have. And I find it to be pretty cool. The beans have been safe, boys. Enough about the beans. Seriously. No. And on we go. Indeed. Right. Never enough about the beans. Why did you give fire to Gladio? You gave fire to the one guy who has like the biggest temper. Maybe that's why it worked, because he has a temper. For funsies. You're on fire today. What can I say? Am I? I just got kicked in the face. That wasn't so hard. It takes two. Got all those arms at your disposal. Use them. 
Oh, there's still one running around. Not anymore. None the worse for wear. I should actually probably. I have more than enough for an ascension. What the hell was I looking to do? Uh. No. That would be useful. I can't remember if there was something in mind that I had. Uh... Yeah, as you can see, I really didn't use magic much. Um... Oh boy, Prompto needs that. <laughs> he and Ignis have the lowest HP. Oh yeah, I was looking at accelerate tech bar replenishment rate. Yeah, I'll do that. I was like, I was waiting on something. Bring on the next one. So now my tech bar should fill up faster. Which means you guys get to see more attacks. Which is what I wanted. Oh, what? My, my like, non-existent magic screen? Everything in order. Yep. Yeah, like I said, unless the game calls for me to be tactically minded, I'm really not. I'm just like, can I just smack it? I think that's so cool, though. Just a difference in play styles. I always like hearing how people uh, essentially play their games. Because, like, you guys saw my 10 party. I was definitely mainly, uh, like, Orin was a constant in my party. Um, and I actually, my Riku is <laughs> really OP when I let her be for um, super bosses. Oh, yeah, no, I know what you mean. I didn't take it as judgment, don't worry. It is a really funny difference. I'm just like, you're just like, hmm, I wonder if I approach it from this angle and hit it this way and I'm just the one rushing ahead and smacking it in the face. That being said, when playing Mass Effect, Vanguard, which essentially calls for you to do that, just rush ahead and smack things, uh, that's like my least favorite class. <laughs> I'm terrible at playing Vanguard. But I'm very good at Infiltrator, which is sniper rifles, which is staying back and looking at which angle you need to hit something. It's pretty funny. My gaming brain is wired weird. I won't make any excuses for it. It's just weird. Oh man, just listening to the rain and just like the regalia um, driving is making me kind of sleepy. Shockingly, I actually looked this up because I was a few months ago. Xenoblade 2, though, there's like four dance statuses, six element statuses, and they combine to multiply based on the order you perform them in. Holy crap! Oh, 
Oh, well, there was a side quest. Shit, I missed it. I think it's Sonya again. It makes sense when you do it, I swear. I mean, it usually does. If you try to explain Persona to uh, Eternal Punishment's battle system and, like, the menus, it's like... If someone just looks at the menu, they're like, what am I doing? But, like, once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. It's that kind of thing. So that'll be fun when you get... Yeah, that will be fun when you get through the Xeno series. You can be... I mean... M Katie, you went through tactics. Granted, I mean... And you tackled that when you were, like, seven or eight. The original tactics. Which is the most, like, merciless game on the planet. Signs besides, like, Shin Megami Tensei uh, Nocturne. I was gonna say, yeah, you'll want to talk to Alo about, uh, Zeno. I don't- it's not, like, for any dislike, I'm just like, ah, Zeno exists. Yeah, it took you nine years to play Tactics. But you still played it when you were seven years old. You'll be fine. Who's up for a hike? <laughs> Stop making me feel old. Never. I'm turning 30 this year, never. <laughs> dot dot dot. To the right. <laughs> Got it. Where? Oh, there. Always got each other's backs, right? You know it. Oh, cuties. Watch out! That wasn't so hard. There we go. Done in a minute. There's time to spare. Ooh. All right. You hate bucks. Me? Yeah, can't stand them. Same here. Icky. Let the gem hunt begin. <laughs> You'll be hunting a long time. Only raw stones around here. Oh, I have friends around your age, Shikito. Don't worry about it. Oh good, I have to find this stone for Dino in the damn dark. I think there are corals in this area too. I want to ride my chocobo all day. Oh, oh wait, I, I think this is it. Head. No, I picked up daggers. To sell, because I'm sure they're not that strong. What is where? Oh, a gigantoad. Oh, Mr. Nice Guy. Agnes, I've just the thing. Onward. Hmm. Yep. All right. This could be a pain in the ass if I don't find it in the next hour. There's going to be demons popping up everywhere. Bingo. Ah. Found one. Oh, this is it? Man, ore is a real bore. <sighs> Hopefully the next one looks cooler. Shit, is there a haven light somewhere? You can usually tell where the havens are. That's the meteor. Because I don't think Iggy will drive at night yet. Okay. Oh, I need to get three of them. Damn it! 
All right, let's go. Cool, they're gonna pop up fucking everywhere. On we go. Yep. And I haven't talked to a tipster, so I don't know where havens are in this area. So I can't just skip to morning. Right? Oh, I'm by the fall grove. God. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't feel bad, Takito. Seriously. Oh, good. There's another All right. one. Just one more stone to go. Most of my friends are older th or younger than me, actually, too. So, hey, fishing line. Some poor bastard didn't make it. Oh yes. Yeah, there's a couple more floating around here, I think. So let's get that tech bar up. I'm okay. Well, well. Gotcha. Gladio. Sorry. Nice work, Gladio. Yep. Say your prayers. The good babies? Arr. One, two, three. That'll do it. Now let's head back. I feel like I'm picking on Gladio, but I'm glad you can count, Gladi. Oh, boo. 20 minutes on the phone with a customer. <gasps> hey! Nice! 
That's always a win. No, I'm not dealing with you. Get out of here. I think I'm gonna have to drive, sadly. Plow right through them. I'll suckle around with that. No, 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 no. Get away from the demons. I don't think Ignis is gonna drive. And Crisis Core? Have they played seven? Oh, Iggy's now willing to drive at night. Thank God. Knocked. The roads are perilous at night. We best head back into town. Hmm. Peril is our middle name then, eh? Don't say I didn't warn you. You did. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, as long as she's played seven. Yep, Sonya's gonna be there to... Everything in order. Yep, all right. Ah, I hate that. I'm sorry, I had the remake spoiled for me because one of my friends did not listen to me Oh, and I was like, you need to play the original to understand how important things in the remake actually are. And, uh... Someone just spoiled it by asking, like, an endgame question, and they completely spoiled, like, the twist. Because there's a twist in the remake. And that's why I'm like, no, you all need to... Mm! <laughs> I was so pissed. I had the whole thing spoiled for me. I was furious. did not talk to that friend for a good two weeks. Because <laughs> I was so excited for the remake, and then they just went and spoiled it. I was like, you really need to play 7, and they had plenty of time beforehand to do it. It's like, you really need to play the original, and they're like, well, the graphics are just bad, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, it's just the same thing, right? I'm like, no, it's not a remaster, it's a remake. There's a big old difference. Remakes have differences. Remasters do not. Remasters have slight differences. Remakes have the potential to change a lot of stuff. We're not going to talk about that in chat, though, because some people haven't uh, played it. No, they're a good friend. It was just... They're... It was a good friend. They can just be dumb. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was going... I thought I was going to... That area, but I guess Ignis wanted to drive me back to Golden Key to see Dino. Oh, I'm planning on doing all of Seven at some point. The OG first, obviously. Um, and then, uh, Crisis Core. So I'll die inside. Um, it should be a nice change of pace. Uh, do a watch party for Advent Children, because I don't care what anybody says, I love the movie. And, uh, the remake. And read the books. No, there is. There is not. I can't play before Crisis. I would love to play before Crisis because you can be a Turk, but I can't. No, there's no Crisis Core port. Trust me, I would have played it. Because, again, there's the whole gacked face and voice being in it being a problem. Welcome to Golden Key. Oh no, we don't hear it from you this time? Okay. Welcome back. 
Allow me to take your order. Yeah, and the and this uh the song. I mean, they could take no Y out of it, but this lot. It's in your capable hands. Much obliged. Or emulators. I mean, what? Remember, safety first. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, fellas. Jeez, that went quicker than I expected. Dino, you all right? Demons were no match for you, huh, Inspray? I put up a pretty good fight. Well, you're alive, so as promised. That baby right there is unlike anything you've seen before. Drop by again sometime and let me know what you think. I don't think Dino can see. I think I'm blinding him. Yo, talk about impeccable timing. Get that out of my I face. Know what this means. So your majesty's a mind reader. Well, what am I thinking? You want more ore. Bingo. I think we got a real good thing going here. I think this is the last one we do for Dino. Whoa. Yeah, dang, Dino. Well, uh, let's go kill some hobgoblins. I the think they're really taking a liking to you, or at least your generosity. Shouldn't he show royalty a little more respect? You could try setting him a better example. Absolutely breathtaking. Yes. That was, that was a little mean, knocked. I know you were teasing, but considering Prompto's the only commoner here. It's a little on the mean side. All right, I can't take it. Can't change it. Also, mod informed me that the scene I keep hoping to see with Prompto, which was. <laughs> Which I got like right off the bat, um, is actually kind of a random spawn almost. Like it just will happen at random. So if essentially we don't make it to uh, chapter nine, where you know like stuff goes down, and Prompto hasn't instigated the scene, I will make sure to Let play light. play my own version of it for you guys from my own playthrough. Ugh. Okay. Eyes forward. Sorry, Ignis. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I think they hate. Great swords. I'm here as may well, I may as well finish up Cocktoro's hunt. Shall we? Oh yeah, they hate great swords. came by fairy I think they don't like spears you can have simpler 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 monsters and uh, demons and they uh, they'll be they'll have different weaknesses
But I think this whole ilk hates uh, lances. I could make the game way too easy by pulling out a late game OP item, but that's also a story spoiler, so, uh, nope. We got a little problem over here. Cool. Go take care of it. Alone? I wasn't part of the deal. And I remember correctly. I think. Let's clean him up quick. Alright. If I may, we're on the same page. A little bit more and Gladio can do the real cleanup. Alright, hey Gladio, do it. Really? Oh, they're weak against swords. Fuck yeah. You rang? Well, I expected more of a challenge. Let's go. I'm lazy. Alright, he's not throwing it anymore. <laughs> you, <laughs> you played the entire game with Noctis jumping. I'm not going to jump repeatedly. Gladio! <laughs> Maybe you should put a shirt on. I didn't mean to come back here, but we may as well go give Cindy uh, what she needs uh, to. Good morning, fellas. Sun come up already? <clears throat> We've been out all night. I think that's our cue to call it a day. Welcome back. Oh, Goosey, really sweetheart. Are dependable. I have the uh, I have the stamina badge, so Noctis can infinite sprint. <laughs> I didn't play the game until it was like well patched over because I played it in 2018. Making so quite a name for yourself. Cool. I think I did everything for you. We use the freshest fish in every dish. Does it really? I don't even know Here what it is. is the local lineup. Thank you for your patronage. I just have Noctis with a stamina badge. I don't know which way is which anymore. What's that? But what's what? Absolutely you sounded a little drunk there, Prompto. You all right, honey? I was about to say the same. Okay. Yeah, let's go back and give Cindy the thing. For the regalia and talk of the beans. I 
Uh, I have that equipped too, actually. The black hood, I have it. I have on knocked. I have the adamantoids bangle, the uh, the black hood, and um, the stamina badge. Everything in order. Yeah, yeah you have mm -hmm. to do the Pityos dungeon, which is um, which is all platformer, no uh, no enemy. It is a it is a rage inducing nightmare. Um. I somehow got through it because I'm a stubborn, stubborn, stubborn gamer. If that doesn't prove that I'm a stubborn gamer, I don't know what does. Yeah, it is awful. Yeah, Katie, who never rage quits anything, rage quit. And yelled at Gladio to shut up. I think that is the, the exploit now that you say that. For me, the hardest part of getting the Piteous Dungeon was actually landing the damn airship. So, Nox, oh. haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Alright. Iggy? Okay, someone said something first. Get some more shots of specs. <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. So Prompto will ask that randomly. So um, whenever you see that, just throw out whoever. And don't just let it be your favorite every time. If I hear Gladio from uh, Katie every time, I'm going to override her. <laughs> for instance, for instance. I know she won't do it. She'll spice it up. But I know Gladio is also one of her favorites, so... Sorry, Katie, it was just an example, I promise. <laughs> I made my mod feel called out. That would be... That would be... <laughs> yeah, she did get called out. It would also be like... It would also be like being like, take more pictures of Ignis or Prompto, like making me decide, which is why I was like, uh, uh, uh. I will not recommend anyone ever. I mean, you can abstain. That's fine. Yes, honey? Man, that's one funky looking mountain. Wouldn't want to pass up a shot of this. Can I? Yeah, absolutely. I guess so. Shoot. All right, let's get a little closer then. I literally never say no to Prompto's photo ops. I think they're wonderful. Do we have to walk? You want the photo? Yes! Alright, at least... At least for this, I'm just gonna at least make him put his coat back on, just for the picture. Because I just... <laughs> I swear to God, if I run into a bunch of side quests with rugged Gladio and rugged attire. Oh, he'll be fine. Take he'll a take... shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. Cutie pies. Did I save it? Okay, yes. Oh, love the lighting. Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Nothing to it. All right, knocked. Please don't stop. There will be parts that are just entirely side questing, because that's just part of the game. 
Everything in order? Yep. All right. But yeah, whatever Prompto asks uh, who you guys want to see pictures of, feel free to uh, say Rex and whoever gets the most, essentially, will uh, get it. And it won't be the same person twice, so next time it won't be Ignis. I might have asked before, but is Ebony really all that good? I might have answered before, but yes it is. Okay, so that's the can he handed Ignis. I was waiting for that. Ignis is addicted to this uh, coffee in a can called Ebony. Which I've alluded to before, and it's hilarious. I just... I had never heard him say, like... Something about the stock, but Katie put it best. It sounded like he had a gun to his head. Great range of wares here. Paradise for a technophile like you. I just never heard that before. All right, Sid, can you do anything with anything that I have? Whoa. Nif make yes. Stand up straight, boy. No, you can do nothing with anything that I have. Damn it. Sydney, where are you? You're right here behind me. Hi, sweetie. Welcome back. You find the place all right? Yep, sure did. No surprise there. Y'all can hang on to that. That's your reward. Spray your car with a coat of that stuff, and it'll keep her looking spick and span. Y'all want to treat the old girl right, don't you? And nothing feels better than driving around in a clean car. Oh yeah, oh my god, I forgot the regalia can get dirty. <laughs> yeah, in your first playthrough, expect the regalia to get dirty until you do that side quest. I was gonna say, you have more, I know you do. Well, hey there, Prince. Another favor? You guessed it. Must be written all over my face. You see, one of our regulars tipped me off to something real special. Little thing called a supercharger, and a pretty powerful one at that. You boys wouldn't happen to be interested in one, would you? Fella snatched it from a scrap car, but didn't know what to do with it, so he left it. If y'all want it, it's yours for the taking. Okay, that one's a while away. You you get these interspersed, huh. <coughs> interspersed throughout the game. They don't all heap on you at once. It's just because I'm doing Man, this as a new game plus. I love how passionate Cindy gets when she talks about cars. Yeah, it's actually pretty cute. What? Dude, could you not? Not what? The supercharger comes with Cindy's seal of approval and Batten's worth the search. And if we find the supercharger, maybe we'll earn her seal of approval too. You hear this? As if he actually has a chance. Let the kid dream. <laughs> I thought Prompto gets all defensive because he knows Gladio could sweet talk her if he wanted to. Taka, here's your beans. Yes, check. We're good to go. Oh, oh, <laughs> good news. All my deliveries finally came in. That's great. Beans are healthy and nutritious. <laughs> What's not to like? I guess I could eat them if I had to. You want to hear a tip from an old pro? Forget their beans. Pretend they're little meatballs. Little meatballs. I'll give it a try. I reckon y'all earn this reward. It'll make a fine meal. And be sure to kiss the cook for me. I'm in my mod's DMs begging for forgiveness. Oh, oh, good to see you, son. Hey, y'all happen to be headed for Lestalem? Yes. At some point, I guess. Because it'd be mighty helpful if y'all could do some shopping. All right. Much obliged to you. All right. Take that back to Dave. Yeah, I am. Check your uh, check your DM. Yeah, that's still blocked off. Uh, 
So we'll go give this back to Dave. Yeah, there it is. Now I see the red. This messenger, I swear to God. The man it's just okay. We'll do his errands for him. We're indebted to Taka and his dino. Anything we can do, we should. Yeah, it's just shopping. No biggie. What could be easier? <laughs> Let's get to it. Nothing is ever easy with you guys. Everything in order. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, I forgot the regalia could get dirty. <laughs> Whenever you gas her up, she would, uh, I think she would be washed. I know Cindy would wash her for sure. But yeah, no, it's okay that you didn't have a, the, the messenger uh, mod and I use to DM each other can be very, very finicky sometimes. Cool. Well, this is what I intended for Gladio instead of giving him a cold. Just let him get a tan. Here we go. I love watching the boys just in the car. Prompto. Just gazing, Nox sitting on the back, Gladio reading. He is. And when we watch Kingsglaive, everyone will see exactly what you mean. Safe travels. Oh, the Sephiroth skipping gif, which they did <laughs> with the driving? Yeah, that's great. Gif is so good. So how about a breather? Can I interest you in some shopping? Might not be a bad idea to stock up. I have everything. Thanks, boys. Reckon whoever this belonged to is real happy to know it's been found. Anything else, Dave? Ooh, thank you for the elixirs. <clears throat> nope. Sorry, Gladdy. Oh, there's a couple of side quests there. Um, I'll go do this hunt, though, because it's close by. Spear of Corns. Wait, is there... Yeah, there is a Chocobo rental. Seven days. I have more than enough money for it. Oh, hi, Poco. Hang on just a second, honey. Just want to make sure I have all the hunts that I can get. Welcome. Grab some food before you go? So, you think you're pretty tough, huh? That's all I can get. We'll see you around. Oh, shit. I didn't ask Taka for new hunts. Damn it. Oh well. I'll be back there. It's fine. What am I doing? Oh no, Boko, I'm sorry. Come here, you good burb. Easy now.
Keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Right behind you. adorable. Again, I technically shouldn't have these yet. But... Thank you, New Game Plus. Ah, the breeze feels good. Makes me want to take a nap. Noctis, honey. Oh, honey, everything makes you want to nap. Big mood. Me lately. Remember, they're just a scouted boss. Easy as they come. They're not what I need to hunt, so I don't give a shit. Ah, I hate when there's just a little bit of foliage that a chocobo should absolutely be able to break through. But it's like, nah. Okay. Good boko. Thanks for the ride. Wanna bash some heads in? You know it, my man. Ooh, head bashing! Gotcha! Let's clean them up quick. Oh, yeah. Gladium, do it. Any last words? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, really? You lived. Knocked another one out. <laughs> now you didn't. Let's go. I can't imagine what that damage is like with the, the damage break. I'm really jealous that I did not think of doing that. Let's go. Uh, doing the damage break on uh, Gladio and Ignis. That's gotta be bullshit. I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. Sure want to talk. See you, Slowpoke! <laughs> yeah, damage break is amazing. It really fucking sounds like yeah. it. Very jelly. I was definitely more interested in the accessories because I wanted Prompto yeah. to be able to uh, take more pictures. Yeah. And have a good health item. <laughs> and, like, a like, I wanted him to have his special, yeah. like, endgame-ish item. Um, have a good health boost and uh be able to um take more pictures which is exactly nice what he has here. right now makes me want to take a nap ignis <laughs> ignis come on now iggy please <laughs> ignis mom you're killing me all right Holy crap, Iggy.
That's what they do to me, that right there. Prompto was doing that to me. Nice riding with you. Off screen. Where you off to today? Just not not as persistently. Welcome to the crow's nest. Didn't think you had it in you. Thank you for the megalixer. There's nothing else I can take, I don't What's think. What's on your minds? How about it? Oh. We'll see you around. Ah, we're going to be late. Oh boy, that was funny. Okay, not gonna do Lestalem's finest. Um. Shit, I passed. I passed the spot for Ignis's recipe too. Ah! I'm a mess. Excuse me. Hey, hiccup burped. That's never fun to hear or experience. Ah. Uh, okay, we're gonna go here. Yes. Everything in order? Yep. All right. All right, see you next time. got about 15 more minutes but Friday's a long day so if we're lucky <laughs> we'll be able to get to Lestalem and continue the plot a little bit cool actually just hearing the wildlife instead of having the music on I don't know if you guys can hear it it's pretty soft in my ears then again I had to make sure I turned the volume down so I wouldn't shout Oh, thank God. Iggy, can you please speed? Thank you. up for a bite. I hear froggos. That means Sonya's around. Because that's what she does. Ask you for frogs. I thought she was up here, but there's an item up here instead. Ooh, good. I had to use an antidote on Prompto, so that's perfect. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Dave, I forgot you teleport too. 
Now we meet again. You sticking around these parts for a spell? I could use your help digging up some dog tags. Where's Sonya? I thought she was up on the second level. Oh, she's over there. That's right. I want to ride my chocobo all day. <sighs> Can't get it out of my head. Get used to hearing the same dialogue. I just, I always love Ignis's just, oh. Looky here. If it isn't you boys again, come to offer your support for my research, have you? Well, how very heartening. Uh, no. We're not here to... Now, it just so happens I already have in mind what I need you to fetch me this time. Off you go now. Yellow frogs. Wow, I wasn't full up on smelling you salts either. You can't repel enthusiasm of that magnitude. Bones in there. Ready or not? We should be... Oh, love the light. Oh yeah, smelling salts are super useful. I agree with you. All right, time love them. For a break. I was just surprised I didn't have a hundred of them. Welcome to the crew. Ninety-nine. What'll it be today? Okay, what about telling me about Wanna know about the neighborhood? Yeah, please. The havens, yes. And the parking spots. Yes, and the outposts, good. When you're ready, I'll take your order. It's quite an intimidating lineup. Ah. We have a target. Oh, necromancers. Oh, I gotta be careful. Terrific. I hate everything about the fall grove. Baby snatchers. Right then. I hope it all goes off without a hitch. Hmm, I'm ripe to burst. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. I was gonna say, is there a bed? Yes, there is. Over her. Oh, this is where you can get the 14 quest, too, I think. Right? I thought it was in this warehouse over here. Unless you could only do the quest once, which would stink. Because I would love to do the 14 quest again, because I would like to get the summon. I swear to god it was around here. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Maybe it's later on. Uh. 
It's bedtime. Huh. If we're lucky, everyone else will hit what level 100. <laughs> All right, let's see what shots of Iggy. Hey, this oh. one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. That's actually pretty awesome. That would be a really cool shot of Gladio if uh, <laughs> this wasn't mid warp that freaking out in the background. <laughs> oh no. That's pretty prompto. Noctis running. The top of Gladio's head and Noctis's. What? <laughs> like he's a model. Whoa! Ah! What happened to Ignis? Oh! I have so many shots of Ignis just doing that. That looks incredibly diabolical. Iggy on his chocobo. Well taken. That's all Dino can see when you were shining a light in his face, but that was Ignis! I want Ignis with Kenny Crow. Ignis used Flash. <laughs> like the Pokemon move. It's, oh, I haven't seen one to the side. Knocked just looks so unhappy. It was super effective. Yeah, my fucking eyes, dude. Aww. Ignis being mom. Okay. I reset that for next time so Ignis didn't, uh, so we didn't go crazy with pictures of Iggy, and I was like, what the fuck? Um, what am I gonna want to do? Ah, I hate the Fall Grove. Oh, God, Dave's stuff is always really out of the way. That's a Stalem. That's not. That's near. Oy. We may as well do reliable royalty next time. To just get the farthest out out of the way. Yeah, right there, Prompto? Morning. <sighs> Back at ya. You were looking at Kenny Crow very pensively. A little worried about you, man. It's just an old, worn plastic crow. It's all right. Well. Good morning. Hi. Someone had his ebony. Where's Gladio? Oh, there you are, Gladi. All right. Well, <laughs> this is also what a majority of uh, 15 is. Just hanging out with your bros. Okay. So we will continue on Friday. And Friday's a long day. So. Yeah. Um, we'll have two episodes. And we'll hopefully get to Lestalem by then. The plot picks up a bit more when we're around Lestalem. <coughs> Chapters 5 and 6 have a bit of plot. And then you're back to side questing until chapter 9-ish. Ish. Ish. I think actually after chapter 6 is when I'll be showing Kingsglaive, if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, Brotherhood, we can watch at any point. Maybe this weekend? 
Um, since I'm not streaming Saturday or Sunday. Um, maybe I'll do it on Sunday or something, because it's only about an hour. Um, I'm still looking into the specifics on how to do it. I can do that on Watch Together, but... Anyway, yeah. I will see you guys at 5 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Have a good one, guys, and take it easy.